Well, hello, everyone. I think I'm live. I think you can hear me. I will wait just a second um, to see who might pop in for like the very first ever. First, I don't want to say first annual because this will happen more than annually, but like this is definitely experimental <laughs> something happening right now. Um, oh, I see some folks are joining us. Like we have two Jodies. The first two people in the room are Jodies. Like what are the odds of that? Aside from the odds of if you're ever at a WSFA conference and you forget somebody's name, just call them Jackie um, because there's a, like a three out of five chance that you got the name correctly. Um, but no two Jackies at the conference spelled their names the same. So you can fake it till you make it. Just say, hey, Jackie, and then um, that might work. What's also helpful is they make the name tags um, uh, for everyone to see. So it's always like, hey, and then I get close enough to them. Oh, Susan. Oh, yeah, I'm just kidding. But um, I have to get closer and closer each year. So it's getting a little creepy, creepier and creepier. But yes. <laughs> I digress uh, on creepy. Um, we're going to do something that just sounded fun to me. Might give you a little bit of a preview for my local people who will join me at some point uh, at the Oregon Wine Reserve to do a little bit of sniffing and sipping, sipping and sniffing. I forget which order I put it in, but let's see. I don't remember. It doesn't matter, really, once you get to a certain point. So I just thought it'd be fun to show people like what I have planned, I think, for some of the little fun times nearby. But clearly, you could just do this alone by yourself <laughs> uh, and still have fun. I mean, I'm not afraid to admit I am somebody that is not afraid of entertaining himself. So disclaimer. So yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop a little champagne here, a little champagne wall. Um, well, it's probably not real champagne because it's, oh, it is real champagne. Crap. I bought this at the conference and never drank it. I'm glad I didn't leave it in the room. I don't think I've ever done this before. How do you open one of these? I've never opened a champagne bottle ever in my life. And of course, anybody who knows me knows that I could probably do this in my sleep. And by in my sleep, I mean after I've taken a few Ambien. All right, you guys. Oh, my hands are a little slippery. Slickery. Here we go. Oh, hopefully I didn't shake it up too much. Ready? Yes. Perfect. You think I might have done that before. So TGIT, Tidget. Thank God it's Tuesday. This is at least the child size. I'm, I'm glad to see that manufacturers are starting to like be mindful of portion sizes. Portion sizes are also very important to us weight loss surgery patients. Um, so I'm glad to see that they're making things in smaller portions so that it's more reasonable and makes more sense. So kudos to Moet Chandon. Probably saying it wrong because I don't usually drink real champagne. I usually like the Kirkland Prosecco from Costco. Just kidding. I've only had it once though, and it was actually pretty good. So this will be our first sip of the evening just because I'm feeling a little bit parched. Um, but yeah, so I think we'll go ahead and get started. And it's just going to be like what I kind of envision for these little small events I'm going to have. There'll be some food involved. But I want us all to have as many of these that we can sniff because that's the biggest thing when you're looking at a catalog. You want to know what some of these things smell like. So I'm just going to like mystery grab bag um, a few of these. I won't do them all, obviously. Otherwise, I will be on the ground. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. That's delish. 
Um, oh, let's do this. So for all of you out there who are still trying to justify buying the big case, look, if you get the big case, it's also a champagne holder and it'll keep your wax cold. I mean, duh. Hashtag duh, right? All right. Practical, useful. Come on, guys. Get with me on here. So, all right. I'm going to cheat just a little bit because there's one that I really want to smell. Um, whoa. Come on now, Kirk. There you go. I promise I hadn't had any champagne before we got started. I've been working all day. I don't know about you guys, but getting going back to work after a three-day weekend sucks booty and not in a good way. All right. So the one I really wanted to smell is called Sheer Leather. And because I am one of those people who reads everything, I um, – sorry, I can't remember if I'm in the camera shot or not um, – Sheer Leather, I believe, is considered a new release scent or a new scent, or it's in like one of the new catalogs or whatever. So I don't, I guess maybe Sheer Leather hasn't been around forever, but who doesn't like their leather sheer? I mean, I've always like thought, oh, I've got these awesome leather pants. I sure wish they were sheer. I mean, I probably would, but you know what I mean. Anyways, Sheer Leather, my first sniff of the first sip and sniff, sniff and sip. Facebook Live. It's pretty good. So what it smells like is if you've ever had any of those kind of new car scent um, things, I mean, it really does smell like leather, but it smells like, it smells like your great aunt's like cream colored leather seats in her Cadillac, her old like El Dorado, the big long, whatever they were, Savannah. Savannah Deville, Deville's whatever. It smells like her leather seats. These definitely don't smell like my leather pants or my leather jacket. Um, they definitely smell like if they were going to feminize leather, they definitely did a good job. So it's subtle. It's subtle. Okay, now I'm not going to look this time. Oh, wait, I get to take a sip now that I, now that I had a sniff. All right. Oh, wait. I'm not going to look. I'm not cheating. Oh, this is Paradise Punch. Right? Paradise Punch. Wouldn't be very sexy if I put my readers on right now, would it? Although my readers are the bomb. Maybe on another session you'll see my readers. They're special. They're extra. <laughs> Paradise Punch. So let's guess before we even smell this. I bet it's going to smell fruity. And I wonder what it's going to smell like the most. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to smell and let you know. Oh, yeah, super fruity. Um, not fruity pineapple-y. Um, well, let me put these to the side so I don't pull them again. Um, not fruity pineapple-y. More fruity sweet. More fruity... Um, like a berry or like maybe something you would find in paradise before you had punch. Yeah, it would almost taste like if you had rum punch and they like they like on a really cheap like catamaran rum punch cruise. Um, it tastes like maybe they poured all of the fruit juice concentrate without putting any water and they just put the thick gelatinous syrup with the rum. It smells like that without the rum. Oh, I gotta take a sip. I'll get this down, trust me. I, I'm a quick learner. I pick things up quickly, so I've been told. All right. That is so good. They're not getting a plug for this, but uh, pretty good. Okay, don't look, don't look. It's hard not to look because they're all so interesting. Okay. Oh, it's another red one. I think the universe is saying, Kirk, you've been back to work for a whole day after going to Orlando and to Cuba and to Key West. You need to go back on vacation because now we have Aloha Citrus. Aloha Citrus. 
So I'm going to guess that this is going to be, again, kind of fruity. But maybe because it's Hawaii or Aloha, it'll smell like, what are those flowers? Um, in Hawaii, you know, the ones they make the lays out of that smell so good. I bet you it kind of smells like that. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, it's good. It's not very strong, or it's not as strong as you would think it would be. When I think of Aloha, I, when I think of Hawaii, I mean, like, right when you get off the plane, usually you can smell, like, the flowers and everything everywhere, even though you're in the middle of, like, Honolulu or whatever. But I expected that one to be a little stronger. Oh, I see. We've got some more folks coming in. More folks coming in. Love it. All right. Probably coming in and leaving at this point. They're like, holy crap, this guy's crazy. <laughs> okay, not looking, not looking, not looking. Oh, here we go. This is definitely not a scent of the spring or summer. This is going to be, well, I don't know. No, 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 no. We're getting into the spice now. We're getting into the sugar and spice. Not sugar cookie, which is interesting. I mean, you know, I should find the sugar cookie one and then compare it to this one. This one is cinnamon vanilla. It's very cinnamony. Cinnamon, cinnamon -ni. I'll say that after a few more of those. Cinnamon -ni. It's pretty good though, but it's something I would probably put on in the fall or winter, but not right now. Nope. I want something more springy, more hello summery, whatever. Okay, ooh, a green one. Ooh, this is one I think also is a um, new scent I read in the catalog. And it has a really interesting description. The description is like parsley. I, I don't know if this is really the description, but I'm thinking it's like parsley, cucumber, zucchini, and hay. I don't know. It was like, but this one's farmer's market, and the description sounded really good. So I wanted to smell this one last night, but I couldn't find it. Oh, yeah, this one's good. If you like a really clean... And by clean, I don't mean like, not like Febreze or clothesline or any of those other kind of like, not the powdery, cottony clean. This is like, like, and not necessarily you just cut your grass green, but just like if you were to like be at a farmer's market, they nailed, they nailed, they nailed the farmer's market. I don't know. Do any of the reps out there, do they, any of them go to farmer's markets and sell this stuff? I'm not, I'm not that kind of person. I'm not going to haul that stuff around, but to no farmer's market, it'll melt out in the sun. I mean, unless you put lots of champagne in it, apparently. All right. Find another one. Finding another one. Oh, it's another green one. Oh, I got the one that everybody is curious about. And I'm just telling you, if, for those of you who donated to the WSFA yesterday, and there's still time to still donate to the WSFA, um, the links were in yesterday's thing, and I don't know if my trusty friend, who's like the rain woman of typing things, still has those from yesterday. If you donate to the WSFA, you never know. You may get one of these as a thank you, as this particular scent. Um, this is the sea salt and avocado. I know. Where's the freaking chips? And the, where's the pico de gallo? There's got to be a pico de gallo or a, yeah, hot, greasy, salty tortilla chip. I would buy the hell out of that particular scent. No. Nope. All right, here we go. I think I, I smelled this one before, but I want to get a fresh reaction for you guys. Oh, it's pretty good. It really does smell like avocado, but not in a bad way. Yeah, this is really, really good. Now I see why it's popular. Seriously, seriously. this now I, I can see why this one's really, really popular because I would totally, I would put this in my bedroom, I would put this in my living room or my office. Either three places, it would be it would be fresh, and it's kind of makes you alert, but it's not perfumey. Um, it's good. Yeah, I'm glad. So yeah, so for those of you who donated, I ordered a bunch of stuff last night, and uh, a lot of it was this scent. So 
if you donated to the WSFA yesterday on the link, you may just want to let me know that you did and that you really, 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 really want to try the sea salt and avocado. Just saying. Oh, okay, I'm going to try not to look, but this is getting to be too much fun looking. Oh, and I need to sit. I'm parched. God, this is a hard job. Love it. Oh, I'm good. See, isn't this weird how you just like pick things and things are very similar? So this is another one that I really wanted to smell and I, I haven't smelled it yet. But when I, when I read the catalog, I was like, I want to try this one. So it's, you can see by this color, it's the aloe, wa ah, sorry, aloe water and cucumber. Oh, yes. Slam dunk. Definitely buying some of this. Yeah, this all the way. This is almost like spa smell, like spa, like a relaxing spa. I don't know about you guys, but like I get kind of tired, like when you go to a spa or whatever, and it's always the same kind of smell when you go in. It either smells to me like unscented, uh, like I don't know what kind of massage lotion they use, whatever it is that's unscented on everything. And to me, it just smells like old oil or something or it smells like sadness <laughs> this is if i walked into a spa and smelled this so for those of you who know massage therapists or you have a massage therapist and you're looking trying to think about what to, you might want to give them as a thank you gift as a you know as opposed to giving them like half of your week's salary every time you go see them um this is good. All right, this is going into the, I'm putting the sea salt and avocado and the aloe, aloe water and cucumber are definitely going into my favorites. I'm undecided yet about sheer leather. There's another leather one in here that I really want to smell and I don't know if I can cheat and find it. I don't think I can. So I'm going to put that one in the middle. The fruit scents, I love all the fruit scents and they have their time in place. Ooh, farmer's market, that one's going in kind of the middle too. So we'll, we'll have definite winners at the end of this, but all right, let's see. We've done four, five, six, seven. How many do you think I should do? Is this fun at all for anyone? It's fucking, I mean, it's crazy fun for me. So sorry. Hopefully that didn't get picked up by the Facebook folks. Um, go, go mango. This is going into the pile with the Aloha citrus and the paradise punch. Smells just like them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't know that's they're delicious but to me i don't know and it could just be me they smell the same to me ish i'm just keeping it real i'm just being honest okay maybe one more because i have some other stuff i want to talk to you about real quick and i don't want to make this like a forever thing for everyone Ooh, see, there is a kind of a spa theme going on here. This is the Just Breathe. And of course, when I say it that, I don't, so I'm saying Just Breathe, but in my head, I'm doing like the whatever, the Faith Hill version. Just Breathe. <laughs> That's what it sounds like when I, in my head when I say Just Breathe. Yeah, this one is just like the aloe water and cucumber, but add mint. Yeah, add mint to it. This is definitely something... You get your, someone who you want to chill or relax or something maybe you put in your relax area or maybe at work even, or if you're allowed to have sense, a lot of places you aren't. I work in an HR related field and I would be shot if I wore any kind of cologne, deodorant, whatever, toothpaste, I don't know. Um, oh, I'm just gonna pull this one because I just pulled it at random, but it's another kind of lighter one. But this is the Ariel Under the Sea. I almost said something else. Ariel under the sea. Oh, this one's really good. Oh, Disney. F and A, Disney. You always do it. And of course they charge like, I don't know, it's like an extra dollar for like a, or something for a Disney scent, but totally worth it. Ariel, you deserve to be up where the people are for sure. Like if you smell like this, I might be more inclined to hang hang around more fish. I don't know. Nailed it. Nailed it, Sensi. Nailed it, Disney. 
All right. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. I know. So sad. Don't spill for a second. So for those of you who watched the video yesterday, we talked about like this cheat sheet that you can get from your rep, or I'll send you one if you want one. Just pri private message me your address, and I'll send you all kinds of stuff. You saw my box yesterday. My box is full. We need to empty my box. Um, but we talked about maybe going through this and like circling the ones that you wanted. So if you had goals or whatever, like personal goals, like for my folks that are in the weight loss surgery community, it might be, you know, losing a pound or not eating Doritos for a week, whatever. It could be anything. But you want to reward yourself, but you don't necessarily want it to be food related. Um, we talked about going through the sheet. So I wanted to show you guys my sheet. And maybe I can make this a little bit easier to see. I don't know how this is going to show up on the camera. Um, but you can see like, it's like in this group here, I circled the ones that I want. The ones with the hearts are the ones I already have. And every time somebody comes over to my house, they're like, I want that. Especially this one, the, oops, will it focus? Come on, yeah. The parlor, that's called the parlor warmer. That one is really super, like whenever anyone comes over to my house, Lindsay Fly, this is the one that's popular. And it has this really cool like Edison bulb in it. It's really, really cool. And then this is the star Stargaze one. This one's in the bedroom. And literally, it was the very first thing I brought to my new apartment. So like when Eric and I moved into this place, beautiful, beautiful. We're on the top floor of a, uh, downtown Portland, down the, what they call the South Waterfront. And the apartment was completely empty. And I still probably have this picture somewhere. But the only thing I had with me at the time, because I had just come down to sign leases or something, was my new Stargaze um, warmer because it was still in the box. And I put it here on the counter and had the city in the background and just the Stargaze thing on. Oh, my God. I was like my life does not suck because I had this warmer in my life <laughs> and amongst other things. But I was like, yes, um, I really want this one with the, the skeleton one, the Calavera or it's called Calavaria or something. I really want that one. Then there's one that's very similar to the Stargaze one. It's called, I think it's called the, oh, I crossed it out. I think it's called like Luna or Nova or something, but I want that one a lot. Um, and then I put a sad face next to this one because it's, I'm, it's not because it's sad. This is actually like the Father's Day one you can get right now. So I think they bundle this right now to where if you buy this warmer, you get two, two free bars. So it's for Father's Day. And you can get any um, Major League Baseball team. They have them in all the teams. But I put a sad face because my dad's dead. So Father's Day kind of whatever. But for your dad celebrate that he's still alive and get him one of those because I would want one of those and I'm not even a dad. Well, I am kind of, we'll save that for another day. Oh my goodness. So there's a few on the back. So if you aren't not real ready to drop like 25, 30, 40 bucks or whatever, well, maybe no, you don't have to spend 25 on a warmer and you just want to like have a little warmer. I have like a little warmer here in my kitchen, but I ordered a few of these other ones last night um, as gifts. And I bought a few of these, and I have a feeling I'm going to need a few more. But you'll see where I put, like, all the arrows, and then, yes, that one is called the Crazy Hot Mess Warmer. So you can't see it because it's really small. Maybe I can find a better picture of it later or if you go to my website um, and take a look at the, the thing. If you go to the launch party um, page and buy this, you will be my hero. But it says, actually, on it, it says Crazy Hot Mess Let's be honest. We all know a crazy hot mess. So I think maybe there's even a bundle you can do with these, where if you bought two warmers, you get like six bars. And then if you bundle, the more you bundle, the more you save, of course, right? With anything like this kind of stuff. It's like, well, if you just spend an extra $5, you get a million more things, but I think I think I know I'll I'll be buying more of these. I, I put in my order last night for a few of these, but I bet you anything. By the time I give those away or give them as gifts or whatever, there's gonna be more people that want those. So crazy hot mess. Yeah. Even if you needed like a gift to give that person at work, 
that you want to be slightly passive aggressive to. Hi, girl. Oh, thanks for helping or whatever for showing up. I got you a gift from Sensi. <laughs> That would be hysterical. If you do that, please like have your cell phone handy and just be recording a video. That would be hysterical. Oh, I see Jamie. Jamie's in the room. Jamie, um, this morning and I had a wonderful chat while she was putting her makeup on. And I was avoiding starting work because um, it wasn't time yet. Don't get me wrong. And we were talking about Scentsy stuff, and then people started asking about Scentsy stuff. So Jamie, who sells Unique, Jamie, or Beauty by Jamie, Jamie Lynn, is a very successful Unique, is it presenter, person, consultant? I don't know. All I know is I spent a crap ton of money with her years ago with Tupperware. And she was my Tupperware lady at one point. Now she's my Unique lady. She's my unique, unique lady, and she's also the best cruise ship roommate ever. Um, well, aside from Eric, of course. Um, but she's going to make me her partner of the week next week. So if you were to go to my webpage and if you were to look at my open parties, if you are one of Jamie's friends watching this, um, you'll really want to go to Jamie's party and purchase something because I opened a party just for Jamie's friends and Jamie's network. Um, so while, while we're featured, while I'm featured, while you, uh, Sensi is featured next week with Jamie, I'm her partner of the week next week. So come on, ladies, put down your mascara and buy something. I think the name of the party is Pretty Face Smelly Place. For the name alone, buy a scent circle, something. Please remember, I donate 100% of my commission to the WSFA.org, Weight Loss Surgery Foundation of America, saving one grant at a time. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated or associated with them officially on the board or otherwise. So I am a private individual citizen who has benefited greatly from weight loss surgery and believe um, it's time to pay it forward. So buy stuff, save a life. Buy stuff, and the next time you sit on a plane, you'll sit next to somebody who's happy to be there and whatever, and we'll talk about weight loss surgery forever, because that's me. Um, okay, so we covered that. We covered this. Um, so here's the deal, you guys. So I, I made those two videos yesterday and everyone was like really super, there were so many of you who donated to the WSFA, um, which was amazing. And that's really what this is all about, um, which I really, really appreciate. Um, what I'm trying to do is show the Sensi folks that I mean business. And what I mean by I mean business is I wanna have some like, at least decent sales on the front end. So that way when I'm earning commission for the rest of the year, that's more money that's gonna go towards WSFA. So in other words, the more I sell like within my first 70 days or so, the higher the percentage I'll get over the course of my lifetime with Sensi, And that's more money that I can donate to the WSFA. So if you are on the fence, if you're thinking about it, I was, I was so sad this morning. I, I got one order from somebody. Um, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank right now because I'm under pressure, but, um, and she, very generous, wonderful order, but it was outside of the party. And I really wanna show on my launch party um, what, what we can do here, what I can do with my friends and with my network and with my WS peeps and their peeps and whatnot. So if you guys could go to my launch party party and buy something, that would be awesome. If you're one of Jamie's friends and wanna like make sure your girl gets us crazy extra few shout outs, um, buy, buy stuff under the Jamie party and yeah, but I don't want to go to sleep tonight without one person having bought something from the, the launch party. That's like, that's not a launch. That's like, mer. so anyways, 
please, please, please do that. Oh, okay, it's, I'm hitting the 30 minute mark, so I, I'm gonna wrap things up, but please donate to the WSFA if you can. Please buy something at my lunch party. Next week while um, I'm one of her business, while well, I'm one of Jamie's featured business partners, please give her lots of business. Please give me lots of business so that I can pay it forward to the, the community. Um, I wanna give a shout out. I had one person sign up so far as a consultant. Her name is beautiful Alicia. You guys all know who she is. Um, and if you're even on the fence about signing up right now as a quote unquote presenter or what do they call us? Like, I don't even remember. It's like, there's a word for it. Um, this is the week to do it before Friday because it's only $15. And even if you, if, I mean, even if you're just gonna buy Sensi for yourself, you know, I mean, I probably would, it's probably better for me if you just keep buying it for me and I get it for w, WSFA, but I don't know how it all works yet. <laughs> I'm sure I'll eventually understand. But I know that if I get a certain number of people to also join during this time period, um, that could also help increase what I can donate to the WSFA moving forward um, later. So it's all gonna help a charitable cause. But what I was gonna say is there's no really, there's no risk. Um, it's $15 to join. You get at least that in product. Um, and you'll get discounts moving forward. Like you get a consultant discount. So it's like 20%, 25%, I think, if, like within your first few weeks if you sell a certain amount. Um, so I'll, I'll, and then it does come like with a free website for three months, but you can opt out of that. You don't even have to do the free website thing for three months. Um, you can just, not, do nothing other than enroll as a consultant and then get the discount moving forward. But do it now like, well, it's 15 bucks as opposed to 99. There's no like, you don't, you're not gonna get charged anything. If you, if, if you don't sell anything and if you don't buy anything, you, they'll just throw you into an inactive status. So, and I'm gonna sweeten the pot just slightly, but if you become an, a consultant for 15 bucks before Friday, or on or before Friday, and you set up your first launch party, I will be your very first customer, and the commission that you make alone on what I will buy from you will cover your 15 bucks. <laughs> this is how much I believe in this product and how much I think it's really gonna help transform a lot of lives. Um, so I want people to get excited about this kind of stuff. So I'm telling you right now in front of God, in front of my director, in front of, oh, in front of my, my uh, CEO from WSFA, um, if you sign up this week as a consultant under me by using my link on my page, I will be your very first customer on your launch page and I guarantee the sale that you get from me will cover your $15 fee. So now it's even no risk situation at all. And I know it sounds too good to be true or whatever, but this is, I really believe this is a reputable company and every single person that I've met um, who's involved with this has been reputable. And um, this is probably the only time you're gonna hear me kind of kind of push for something by a deadline. But the more I do right now, the bigger the, bigger the commission is that I'm gonna be able to donate back to WSFA. So um, thank you guys for listening. Thanks for joining me for my first sniff and sip, sip and sniff. We'll do this at the, the reserve and there'll be food involved and there'll be a variety. So if you don't like champagne, I got you. You want some Chardonnay? I got it. You want a nice Oregon Pinot Noir? I got it. You want a sparkling Pinot Noir? I got it. So I, if you come to my thing, I'm gonna get you nice and lubricated and you're gonna buy some stuff. Sound good? All right, you guys, thanks for joining me tonight. This was a lot of fun, probably more fun than you, or more fun for me than you, um, and I'd like to, Thank Endora for being a strong female presence uh, in my childhood and have a great night.